What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Queen Romy, back with another video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you are doing. Make sure you put your notifications on all so you can know when I am dropping the videos. Okay, so I had to straighten my kind of camera. But make sure you guys, you know, subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all know when I'm doing this video. But first, before I get into this video, um, I got to look. I got to get it, do it real quick because I'm on my lunch. Y'all know I only got 30 minutes. If y'all wiggle, I'm sorry. Y'all know I only got 30 minutes to be able to get y'all some info about what's going on. What I'm going to talk about. Like, what, what we about to talk about. I'm going to give y'all a little bit of story time because I didn't get it off my chest. Get some things off my chest. Okay, but I want to shout out my um, lash tag. Oh, my God. Y'all see my lashes? They are so pretty. She took her time with them. She did them really, really nice. Real, real nice. I will put her um, description down in the link below. Um, so, you guys, I just want to give y'all a little bit of story time. Um, just a little quick little story time on knowing your worth and also knowing what you're not going to stand for and what are your deal breakers. Um I have like I've been noticing that my deal breakers are people that aren't being consistent and I have to also deal deal with myself because I have to also be consistent with me and in order to have people draw people closer to me that are consistent um so that's why I'm still trying to you know get these videos out trying to get you know stay consistent with myself but that's what I have to do if I want to attract us consistent I have to be consistent um but I just really like, I'm just, I was, okay, I'm out here, I was I call myself out here trying to date or whatever. I want to date and whatever. And when you dating, um, just in general dating, you know, um, just in general dating. So, talking to a girl and she had a situation going on and it's just like, you know, why is, we're going to say, C c is doing why is c doing and acting like this but d is telling me another story you know what i'm saying so it was just it was like really awkward so it's just like do i want to accept or deal with the drama or not like even if this person is a good person do you want to deal with that or not and i'm in a position right now where i don't want to deal with that i don't want to deal with with a person having somebody and and you don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't nobody want to be around that. And it's like, my deal breaker is like, when I'm asking you to be open with me about something, and we're not, we're just friends and we're talking. You know what I'm saying? Getting to know each other. Nothing serious. Like, I wasn't even putting myself out here to be, just in general, when this was going on. I wasn't putting myself out there just to be, oh, I'm about to just openly just start dating and stuff. Um... But putting yourself out there is like real hard because people will take a bit advantage of the niceness and or or how you are or how you treat them. Some people want to be treated a certain way, catered to all the time and stuff like that, but don't give it back and recip you know, don't reciprocate the favor or reciprocate how you are treating that person. Like you I want that back in return. So I know I'm noticing that that's a deal breaker for me. Like, if I'm showing you love, I'm showing you care, I'm calling you, I'm giving you consistence, and you're not giving it back, it's like, uh, me and you, I just, I can't fuck with you. And it's like, not personal, it's just like, on that level, I won't be able to, to fuck with you. Um, would I be able to be a, your friend? Definitely be a friend, but it's just more or less, I'm looking for something as in a partnership. Partnership is hand in hand with everything and hand in hand what was going on do people have their personal things that goes on in their life yes we are still human we are we all have different things that we are going through and dealing with in our own life and for me to be talking to a person and i'm having people call my phone text me and asking me questions about x y and z asking me questions about d like why is these why are you coming to me if this is your person you know what i mean so i just was like that's just not something that i like want to deal with like who wants to deal with that drama and 
long story short, just overall, just know who you want in your circle. Um, as far as partnership, I'm like not necessarily seeking for a relationship, but one day I would love to be in a healthy, stable, committed relationship with someone. And I want it to be enjoyable. I don't want it to be, oh, I'm just dealing with a person. Everybody go through problems. Everybody go through um, disagrees, disagreements and agreements. Some people go through separation and come back together. Some people go and just be like, I just need a break for this such and such long. Some, you know, people go through things and within relationships, but you have to be able to find somebody that is willing to go through those things with you. Um, relationships are perfect. Like I'm dealing with a person that I feel like, I mean, done some things that may, I may have never even talked to a person again for and I'm not making an excuse, but I do understand when people get upset, there are things that come out their mouth or things that are done that shouldn't be done, which I know because I am speaking of an experience of that because I've done it. Um, do I believe in check second chances with people? Yes, I do. I, I definitely believe in second chances because I do feel that people can change if they are willing to or wanting to. It's not something that you can be like, oh, I want you to change now because it's not going to work. Um, if the person is willing to go through it with you, willing to fight for the relationship or fight for the friendship. And I'm not just speaking for relationships. I'm speaking for general, just in friendships, family ships, um, situationships, relationships, um, you know, anything, partnerships, marriages, it works for everything. You have to be able to find a person that's willing to do and go that far with you as same, to be on the same page with you. Because relationships now are not that. Like, even friendships. Like, I keep preaching to myself, like, I like having friends that's around that's accountable. Because I'm back on YouTube because I'm, I've been saying it. I just haven't been active with it because I'm complaining and work. I'm tired. Yeah, no. Get up and do it. So, I'm just, and I'm just, I'm tired of, you know, just not keeping a flow of certain things that's around me. And dating out here in these streets aren't like they were five, ten years ago. I mean, people come in your life and feel like they just, they want to, they want to use you. And nowadays people are just using people. People aren't making relationships committed and, and, and being authentically open and real with someone you know they're not being committed to what's going on in a situation and period and sometimes sometimes as women like we settle we want to settle and I just I'm not in a mood I'm not in a mood and I'm not in a space in my life to be settling for less I need more than just less I bring the table to the table so I would rather someone else bring the table to the table as well. And it's hard to find people that do that. It's hard to find me. It's hard to find and meet people that's on your same level. You're not going to meet and find the same person just like you. And if you do, I mean, kudos. But I don't feel that that would be good. That's just my personal opinion. Um, because I notice that people that are attracted to me are like real quiet. So... Yeah, I just, I don't know. Dating is different. Dating is really different, y'all. But that was just a backstory because, like, I'm tired of people. I'm tired of women. Like, if you got a problem in your relationship or your situationship, don't go to the other girl. Stay within the household. Go to the person that you're sleeping with. Because it will work out better. Regardless if that person, if you feel that person is lying to you that you're sleeping next to, then you need to leave. You need to leave, find somewhere else to do or go. Like, it's, it's simple. Don't come to the next woman. That's crazy. That's crazy. I, I do not understand why. And I can, and I understand. Okay, let me take that back. I understand. But I'm not doing that over 30 and I doing over 25 I'm not that's a j job and I have 
several of those so that one just be a whole bunch of it's just a whole bunch of nothing like so ladies just if you having a problem within your relationship go to your nigga or your woman what the fuck like what are you doing who is this why x y and z what is this about and gone about your business and also women ladies i got a couple minutes Ladies, if you are having a problem with a person, go away. Like, if you feel that it's not working, get out of it. Like, I've had so many relationships that I have been in. Like, not so many because i only been in, like, five or four real relationships. But the three relationships that I have been in that was serious, we sat down and talked like, this is not working. We think we need to go... I, think you need to go your way and I think I need to go my way we had a communication we communicated about it and most people aren't old enough and sh mature enough to have those conversations so when you know it's not right just get up out of it so I know that although I want to want to and wanted to pursue this person I know that in reality, I don't think that I would be able to pursue it because it was like, what you do, I feel like what you do to that person, you will do to me unless you change your habits and unlearn the things that you are learned in that relationship or friendship. And I want to be able to be my person's friend before I become their person as far as wife or their fiance or girlfriend. You know, there's steps and levels to it, but in relationship, in the lesbian world, lesbians go so fast we can be dating on tuesday and be married by friday it's just realistically okay but i'm not into that i'm not into rushing i'm not i mean rushing i'm not into i want to settle i want to take my time i want to be settled in my relationship i want to be i want it to grow to be something marvelous like when you see me and see her i'm happy as hell period it shouldn't be no ifs, ands, and busts about it. Like, so that's what I'm looking for. And out here dating, it's really hard to to find commitment. <laughs> it's, it's freaking hard. So, I don't know, ladies. But if you ever having a problem with your spouse, don't ever go to the next lady. Because let me tell you something. It ain't going to work. You're going to meet a girl like me. And I'm just going to tell you either what it is or what it ain't. And and in this case, it wasn't nothing. I just don't understand. In this case, it it wasn't anything. I mean, whew, I don't know. It wasn't anything. But y'all, don't ever go to the the, the other lady. Just, just go to the to the main course and the source, because the main source and the source is right next to you. Source and resource <laughs> It's right next to you. I just don't get that. I don't get it. But it's right there. It ain't. Mm, it ain't hard. <laughs> it's not hard, y'all. I'm just. I'm in a car, I'm chilling, and it's yeah. But I just want to let you guys. That's the message I want, young ladies. If you guys are down dating, young men, or if you out there dating, don't ever go to the side piece, whoever it is. Go to the main course because that's who owe you loyalty. That's who owe you respect. And that's who owe you honesty. Don't nobody don't nobody owe you that. The next person don't owe you that. And even like, and I can't even say side piece. Like, even if you're broken up and you still contacting people that, that don't don't pay your bills or don't pay you no mind. Like I be trying not to say what I want to say. Like, I be wanting to really go the fuck off. So, I do. I've been doing it really nice. Like, just, you know, doing it doing it nice. You got to do it nice so they know. Don't play with me. But, I always go to the source. Don't go to the next woman or the next man. Because it ain't going to work out. So... If you like this video, make sure you hit give it a thumbs up. Make sure you leave me a comment. Y'all comment. Leave me a comment. Let me know what y'all want to hear. Let me know what y'all want to see. I'm about to start putting some more stuff out there. So let me know what y'all want. Um, and thanks again for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a grandma, tell a grandpa. Because you know Romy is all in. And I'm out.